everybody. I am Brenda Rogers, your Associate Dean for Student Affairs. It's so nice to see everyone here. Despite the rain, it's so good to be back together in person, so yay. And I just want to remind you that the rain brings rainbows, so I'm thinking rainbows today. Okay? All right. Okay. Here's what's going to happen today. So once I finish my remarks, the Dean is going to give some remarks to. At 11 a.m., she will announce that you can proceed to obtain your envelopes. The envelopes are with your ETCs, which are at that end of the, the area, right? Once you get your envelopes at 11, you can open them. We'll have about 10 minutes of celebration, and then about 11.10, we'll regroup, and I will announce everybody's names and their match locations, okay? All right, okay, so here we go. Dean Jackson. Good morning. Good morning it's great to see all of you and to be with you here today. There is no more memorable day for a medical student than the third Friday in March every single year where hundreds of thousands of graduating students find out where they matched. This is why we're here today. Now I have to put my glasses on. <laughs> so today is March 18th, 2022. We are two years and one week in the COVID-19 pandemic and today we celebrate you. For those of you who don't know me, I am a pediatric infectious disease specialist. I have practiced pediatric infectious diseases for more than three decades after graduating from this medical school. 
I've been the dean of the medical school for four years, and this, I can tell you, is the most exciting day for all of us who are your staff and faculty. The ceremony, which is a rite of passage for medical students around the country, is even more significant this year. March 11, 2020, the Director General of the World Health Organization declared the COVID-19 pandemic and at that time, in the United States, there were 1,762 cases. At this point, COVID-19 had spread to 114 countries, and now it is globally challenged, and in the United States alone accounts for 76 million cases, and we're hovering at a million deaths. The disproportionate impact of this pandemic on black, Hispanic, and Native American communities has been observed throughout. And while our children are less likely to have severe disease, which may be one of the few silver linings, the Omicron variant has placed an unexpected burden on this population, and children now account for 12 million of the COVID cases. The pandemic brought with it Disruptions to your medical school journey, we know that. Those, just, it, those disruptions included eliminations of your away electives, the move to a virtual format for didactic lectures and residency interviews, and emotional and other downstream consequences that affected not only you, but everyone around you, your families, and everyone who's been part of your School of Medicine team. Today, we recognize that as you find out where you land next, you will be the first class of incoming residents who are vaccinated and begin your residencies at a point of time when COVID-19 pace has slowed and we are moving to the endemic stage of this virus. What that means is that rates will remain low Many communities will go to mask optional, and beyond that, mask free. We anticipate waves and surges that will continue in the future as this virus will join other endemic viruses, like influenza, where every season we vaccinate, we test and treat, and we standardize our care of patients. But here we are today, continuing on our path to what will be our near normal. So, as we celebrate these steps forward, your docents, all of our faculty, all of our staff want to say we are so proud of this extraordinarily talented class of students. I want all of our staff and faculty to raise your hands and be recognized by the students and their parents. Raise your hands. And now, I'd like the students to recognize all of their families around them. So I'm very excited, and the wait is almost over here. We saw your focus, your flexibility, and your resilience during your medical school journey, and the lessons you've learned will carry you throughout your career. So the wait is over. In minutes, you'll find out the exciting news, where you'll land next, and it's thrilling and a little unsettling. But I want to tell you that whether you land with your first choice or not, this next phase of your journey defines the rest of your life. As you scatter across the country, I know you'll continue to make us proud by demonstrating knowledge, kindness, empathy, compassion, and professionalism. So congratulations for everything you have accomplished. We are proud and celebrate with you as you take this next step. Okay, go get your envelopes. <laughs>
hates it, uh, hates it, squelch your party, sorry. Okay, so I'm going to share with you the results of the entire match so we can learn and hear from everyone where everyone is going. Okay. I love that we're so happy. So you guys know I'm good at that, all right? Okay. All right. First, I need everyone raise your hands. All righty. Okay. All right. Okay. I used to do this with my children Girl Scout, but okay. So first of all, again, I want to re I want to congratulate everybody. It was a fantastic match. We are so proud of you. Um, and I want you to recognize and look around this room and realize that everybody in this room had some piece of this process. So congratulations to every single one of you in this room. And for those of you who did not sleep last night, tonight is going to be really good sleep. Okay? Alrighty. As I announce the names, the ETCs are going to post the pin in our map so we can eventually see where we are located. We have students everywhere from coast to coast and in every specialty you can think of. Alrighty. Okay, here goes. Kalia Gunn, Anesthesiology, Vanderbilt. Sai Mandava, Transitional Year at University of South Florida Morsani College of Medicine and Diagnostic Radiology at the University of Nebraska. <laughs> Valerie Kirtley, Pediatrics, Nationwide Children's Hospital in Ohio. <laughs> Tara Christian, Pathology, University of Washington. Patel, Anesthesiology, Barnes Jewish Hospital. Michael Boncato, Emergency Medicine, Western Mi Michigan University. Russell Brown, General Surgery, University of Missouri, Kansas City. Ashley DeShepper, Pediatrics, Children's Mercy Hospital. Aaron McGaw, Psychiatry, University of Missouri, Kansas City Center for Behavioral Medicine. Demi Woods, Transitional Year, Medical College of Wisconsin, Radiology Diagnostic, Medical College of Wisconsin Affiliated Hospitals. Internal Medicine Pediatrics, Geisinger Health System in Pennsylvania. Ezra Kishore, Emergency Medicine, University of Texas Southwestern. Andrea Pelay, Family Medicine, Kansas City University GME Consortium in Joplin. Nikila Pokala, Anesthesiology, Northwestern University. Galila Daniel, General Surgery, University of Kansas School of Medicine. Adam Habib, Internal Medicine, University of Arizona College of Medicine. Moham Salmon, Oral and Maxillary Surgery, University of Missouri, Kansas City. <laughs> Tung Tran, Internal Medicine, Texas Institute for Graduate Medical Education. <laughs> Alaya Budupodi, Internal Medicine PD Preliminary Advocate, Advocate Healthcare in Chicago and Anesthesiology at Northwestern University. Anna Davis, Pediatrics, University of Hospitals in Columbia, Missouri. 
Danya Jandahar, General Surgery, University of Louisville School of Medicine. Evan McKinnis, Psychiatry, University of Missouri, Kansas City Center for Behavioral Medicine. Michelle Yang, Emergency Medicine, Barnes Jewish Hospital. Kartik De Paula, Psychiatry, Harbor UCLA Medical Center. Sadika Jaganathan, Psychiatry, West Virginia School of Medicine. Andrew Peterson, Otolaryngology, Barnes Jewish. Hayden Rotramel, Internal Medicine, St. Louis University School of Medicine. Leslie Shang, Prelim Medicine, University of Missouri, Kansas City, Diagnostic Radiology, University of Kansas School of Medicine. Okay, we're going to take a break. Oh, never mind. They're ready. Okay, so I was going to say we're going to swap out ETCs, but they're ready. Okay. Rushika Char, Psychiatry, University of Missouri, Kansas City Center for Behavioral Medicine. Gus Frank, Transitional Year at Baptist Health in Little Rock, Arkansas, and then Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation at Schwab Rehabilitation Hospital in Chicago. Caroline Olson, Internal Medicine, Mayo Clinic School of Graduate Medical Education in Jacksonville. Isan Sabahara, Oral and Maxillofacial, Maxillofacial, whoa, Maxillofacial Surgery, University of Missouri, Kansas City. Jessica Ignacio, Prelim Medicine at University of Chicago Medical Center, Anesthesiology, University of Chicago. Warren Balaja, Internal Medicine, University of Kansas School of Medicine. Laura Mann, Pediatrics, Prisma Health, University of South Carolina School of Medicine. Okay. Kabir Torres, Preliminary Surgery, University of Missouri, Kansas City. Dakota Owens, Family Medicine, University of Kansas School of Medicine. Casey Rose, Anesthesiology, University of Missouri, Kansas City. Mira Sandorel, Internal Medicine, University of Kansas School of Medicine. Omar Asifi, Anesthesiology, University of Kansas School of Medicine. Lauren Gresham, Preliminary Medicine, University of Missouri, Kansas City. Dermatology, University of Kansas School of Medicine. Anya Joyo, Internal Medicine, University of Southern California. Pradeep Kandola, Internal Medicine, Cleveland Clinic. Lakshmi Priya, Preliminary Medicine, in University of Missouri, Kansas City. Rajna Taluri, Internal Medicine, University of Colorado School of Medicine. Chase Young, Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation, University of Utah.
Okay, now we're going to take a minute for the ATCs to swap out. Family Medicine, University of New Mexico School of Medicine. Employees. Joshua Hill Psychiatry, Barnes Jewish Hospital. Lakshmi Kunam Pediatrics, Children's Mercy Hospital. Afira Malik, Neurology, University of Missouri, Kansas City. Osama Kamal, Internal Medicine, Creighton University. Morgan Kensinger, Internal Medicine, Barnes Jewish Hospital. Shruti Kumar, Obstetrics Gynecology, Abington Memorial Hospital, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Valerie Shu, Obstetrics Gynecology, Southern Illinois University School of Medicine. <laughs> Reynaldo Gomez, Internal Medicine, University of Arizona. Angela Lonko, Transitional Year at Baylor Scott and White All Saints Medical Center and Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation at Baylor College of Medicine. <laughs> Michael Oyakian, Anesthesiology, University of Texas Southwestern Medical School. Lorraine Sani, Internal Medicine, University of Missouri, Kansas City. Jason Ebuary, Internal Medicine, University of Missouri, Kansas City. Sarah Lamb, Neurology, Barrow Neurological Institute at St. Joseph's Hospital in Phoenix. Milan Mahatra, Preliminary Medicine, University of Missouri, Kansas City, Ophthalmology, University of Missouri, Kansas City. Chajera Okafor, Psychiatry, University of Kansas School of Medicine. Armand Edelotti, General Surgery, HCA Healthcare, East Florida. I know I kind of stopped that talk, sorry about that. Okay. Kate Fee, Internal Medicine, Ohio State University Medical Center. Jordan Longaba, Internal, oh, sorry. Obstetrics Gynecology, University of Kansas School of Medicine. Sorry, Jordan. I missed that, read that line and had her going into internal medicine. Sorry, Jordan. No, no, no. That's OB. Okay. Keith Angelo Wadagrubo, Internal Medicine, University of Chicago Medical Center. Corey Mala Vernon, Pediatrics, St. Louis University School of Medicine. Okay, and I think we are switching our ATCs again. All right. Blake Dreyer, Preliminary Medicine, University Hospitals, and then Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation, University Hospitals in Columbia, Missouri. Samuel Monacino, Internal Medicine, University of Missouri, Kansas City. J. 
Jacob Williamson, Orthopedic Surgery, University of Louisville School of Medicine. Nicholas Yeasley, Family Medicine, University of Missouri, Kansas City. Rachel Lee, Family Medicine, University of Missouri, Kansas City. Michael Panela, Internal Medicine, Creighton University. Gerard Dietrich, Urology, University of Arkansas. Dakota Guerrero, General Surgery, University of Missouri, Kansas City. Varsha Kundavi, Internal Medicine Pediatrics, University of Southern California. Elizabeth Tang, Transitional Year at St. Agnes Medical Center in Fresno, California, then Diagnostic Radiology at Stanford Healthcare. Okay. All right. Taylor Hartman, Family Medicine, St. Louis University School of Medicine. Leilani Nancy, Orthopedic Surgery, University of Missouri, Kansas City. Abigail Murphy, General Surgery, Marshall University School of Medicine in Huntington, West Virginia. Priya Jane, Internal Medicine, St. Louis University School of Medicine. Christian Kingeter, Transitional Year at Broadlands Medical Center in Des Moines, Iowa, and then Diagnostic Radiology at University of Kansas School of Medicine. <laughs> Ethan Williamson, General Surgery, University Hospitals in Columbia, Missouri. <laughs> Michael Bach, General Surgery, Henry Ford Hospital, Michigan. <laughs> Shayla Turnagic, Anesthesiology, Stanford Healthcare. Sky Cope, Preliminary Medicine, University of Missouri, Kansas City. Reza Gajahun, Family Medicine, Kansas City University GME Consortium, Freeman Health Center in Joplin, Missouri. <laughs> Unan Islam, in Emergency Medicine, University of Missouri, Kansas City. Debelina Kangelo, Neurology, Ohio State University. Aveline yeah. Bondal, Internal Medicine Pediatrics, Detroit Medical Center, Wayne State University. Anna Long, Obstetrics Gynecology, St. Louis University School of Medicine. Shubika Jane, Transitional Year at Kawea Delta Healthcare District in California, then Anesthesiology at Stanford Healthcare. <laughs> Divya Vandamati, Internal Medicine, University of Wisconsin Hospitals and Clinics. Rishabh Gupta, Ophthalmology, Rush Medical Center. Vijay Lichamam, 
Neurological Surgery, University of California in San Francisco. Internal Medicine Pediatrics, University of Alabama Medical Center. No. Delaney Bates, Emergency Medicine, Econ School of Medicine at Mount Sinai Hospital, New York. Doris, Anesthesiology, University of Kansas School of Medicine. Medicine, Iskerka, Psychiatry, University of Arizona College of Medicine. Nicholas Seidel, Emergency Medicine, Barnes Jewish Hospital. That's your rank list, your match list. Yay, congratulations. So proud of all of you.
Let's 